Eh. What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a update one week. Actually, as of like yesterday, Tuesday, well, today is Tuesday. So today is actually my two week post op two weeks since i've had surgery i had surgery uh breast reduction i can't talk like i had surgery on july 6th i had a breast reduction surgery i went from size about 42 double d to now i don't even know what these are like my doctor doesn't even know every time i ask her like hey like what size did you get me down to she's always like between a b and a c and i'm just like so so you don't even you don't even know <laughs> so my doctor told me that she got them as small as she could because that's what i asked her to do i asked her to give me as small as she can because i need room in the future for me to if i possibly gain weight in the future so i told her i would prefer a b cup but you know she says a c would be more you know doable for her so she has to see when she gets up in these so she was able to get them down as small as she could and as you guys can tell they look gorgeous and i love them i love them i love them i love them like i really do <laughs> so i don't want to make this video too too long today was really just a you know just an update on how i'm doing and you know my experience and you know my journey so far you know with healing so Y'all, so if you haven't already seen my breast reduction surgery day vlog, go ahead and watch that because your girl need the views. But since getting home from surgery, man, okay, so my experience hasn't been too, too bad. Like my first like maybe week, first week I had like, I would say my breasts were super, of course, sensitive, sensitive. They were you know, you didn't want to move. I couldn't really lift my arms too much. You want to keep them at your side kind of thing. When you get up off of a chair, you kind of want to, you know, use your thighs, use your Megan knees and get up off the chair or off the bed. You know, you don't want to pull with your arms and you'll start, you know, you'll feel the tension right up and all everywhere. So I, I had to be super careful on how I got up out the bed or whatever. They prescribed me with oxycodone, Motrin, ibuprofen, aspirin, you know, all the generic over-the-counter drugs on top of the oxycodone. You know, I don't like taking that kind of stuff or whatever because your girl will start hallucinating, seeing things. I just don't wanna go down that road. So I'd rather not like <laughs> take any drugs like that. So I really honestly only took medications the first week of healing first week out of surgery but really the first week the most pain i've experienced was maybe like a five out of ten and that was like maybe for one or two days and that's the one or two days that i even took the oxycodone i think i only took literally a half of oxycodone i haven't even touched i still got that half laying up in there okay i don't do that i don't do that kind of stuff i don't know what y'all be doing but i don't do that anyway Pray. bye felicia so all the other days i literally took like ibuprofen and motrin so my pain only got to like five out of ten other days was like a two a three you know my mom has been taking care of me i'm still at her house recovering she's been checking on me she helped me change clothes the whole week you can't lift your arms so she helped me change my clothes you know wash up they don't oh speaking of they don't allow you to hit water they told me until what did they say after four days i think they said after four days i can hit water but i don't want to put any soap in that area um so i was able to shower honestly i didn't even shower until like the seventh day <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's nasty. I don't even know if I'm going to air this part out. But they did tell me. <laughs> I might have to clip that part out of this video. But they did tell me that I could shower after four. But I don't even think I hopped in a shower until like the seventh day. And that's nasty. But listen, I was taking whole baths. Okay. Like it, when you home and you don't go nowhere and you took a shower. Like look at me trying to clean it up. 
It's it's too late. That's nice. <laughs> okay, it might have been a sixth day. Okay, I might be over exaggerating when I say seven. It's the last for me. Um, let's talk about how they're healing. You guys. <laughs> The freaking itch, the audacity. I, y'all, when I say my titties have been itching like a mup, if y'all are considering this surgery, just know, I didn't know this before having this surgery. You know, out of all the videos I watched before going through with this, I did not come across anyone talk about the itch maybe it's just me if y'all also got something against me for some reason like i don't get it what did i do to y'all what did i do to this world i don't know but my titties have been itching now let me tell you since it's the second week it's not as bad as that first week okay like i'll find myself every now and again scratching my boobs but that first week all day i woke up scratching i went throughout the day scratching i went throughout the night scratching i couldn't even get no sleep at night because i was up at three o'clock in the morning scratching when i say my incisions okay so the i'm all over the place with this video but whatever like y'all just bear with me okay so my doctor gave me the anchor incision so it's the incision that gives you the scar underneath your breast and then in the you know starting like right here all the way up into the nipple area so when i tell you underneath my breast oh it's itching right now hold on sorry y'all it's just it ain't as bad as the first week but yeah the scar underneath the breast is the part that itches the most like i'll find myself every now and again kind of like you know scratching right here around the nipple but right here is where it itches so bad and they didn't allow me to put any cream on any ointment they told me i could take a benadryl pill they told me oh actually they did approve after a few days to put ocufor so i've been this right here was my best friend for a few days. So I was using this bad boy. That really helped me. But you know, I just been chilling, you know, like besides the itch and the crazy, you know, what I had to go through, you know, my pain has been fine. My healing has been amazing. My scars are healing up just fine. Um, let me see if I can share my scars with you. Okay, so this are my breasts. There we go. They, I think, you know what? These do look like a B cup to me, but I, you know, my doctor said they should fill out a little more in the future, but here they are. Let me try to show you my scars. There it go. You guys, so what's hanging off right here is surgical tape. So they, they um, put surgical tape, of, of course, around all of my scars and incisions. And then they said, eventually they will fall off and, you know, they, they told me to take some scissors and cut this part off and keep the rest on. But I'm supposed to keep my uh, surgical bra on. Okay, see, this one's still trying to hang up in there. But I'm supposed to keep my surgical bra on for four weeks and keep my tape on for four weeks. So after my four weeks are up, which is in two more weeks, I am removing these bandages and I'm no longer wearing a surgical bra all day long okay but my mom did not even want me recording this video with this bra on she's like where's your surgical bra put your surgical bra back on and i'm like mom eh, i'm grand but you know for the sake of this video i had to put something cuter on and something that you guys can see my breasts like let me go get my surgical bra so i can show you what i'm talking about so when i get out the shower because you know now i shower every day or every other okay so when i first came out of surgery the first week i had drain tubes and one on each side and my mom had to measure and um you know empty them every few hours and then she changed my bandages and put my surgical bra back on so let me demonstrate what i've been having to do since surgery and still to this day even after my showers when i get dressed whatever so they give you these little pads they're like you know little clothy material okay two okay so what you have to do is i have to put one on this side like so cover the entire breast and then i take the other one yeah 
like that. Well, it doesn't matter. I guess I could turn it around like that. Now, I wasn't able to do this by myself at first. Like I could, I was so scared to move. My mom had to do this part, but now I can do it because it's, you know, a lot better now. So you take your surgical bra, you take your bra, and then you put your arm through like said, like that. And then you just bring that over. And then I use my arm and my hand to keep it in place as I grab, just put it on like a shirt or not a shirt, like a jacket. You grab the other side, you put your arm through. Hold on, I'm having technical difficulties. Okay, so you grab that over and then literally this thing comes with little clamps, you know? Y'all know what I'm talking about, little boop. You take that, you clamp them on like that. And then, oh, you gotta make sure it's covering the entire breast, see? Something like that. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but this is what I've been doing. And then I take it, then I zip it up like that. And voila, this is how I've been walking around. You know, I can still wear shirts, of course. I, you know, no one knows I have this on. It's not their business, it's not even your business. But yeah, so this is how I walk around. But, you know, I just wanted to wear this colorful one so you guys can actually see the size of my breast because as you can tell you can't really tell you know what size they are because it has padding on the inside so mama mind your business i'm just playing love you okay so yeah so i'm trying to see what else i should go over with y'all if you have any questions on my journey or any questions about the surgery drop them questions down below because i'm probably not covering everything i should have like wrote something down so i could read off of something and address some things four weeks to take off the surgical bra and the surgical tape around my titties they said one month well that's four weeks okay <laughs> a month before i can get inside of a pool which i actually did that this past weekend but i can explain i did not the water did not touch my breast like literally the water went up to my like hips in my stomach but it didn't touch my breast you know whatever and if you tell my doctor's office i'm gonna beat your ass about two months i think they said i could wear the bra with the wire right here but i'm probably not wearing i don't like wires i probably find you know just bras like this to wear or I probably won't even wear a bra. In a, six months from now, if they still are not up to par, or if there's one bigger than the other, one is boxier than the other, she can go back in and make any adjustments. But she said give about six months to a year to really see my final results and my final cup size and you know. But yeah, so I'm gonna give that time, that grace period. <laughs> uh, before I lost weight, when I was bigger, you know, my breasts, they actually got up to, I believe, like a 42 double D. And I want to show you the bra that I used to wear. Yeah, so this is it. As you can see. As you can see that my breasts were huge. And this even used to be too small for me. So I used to wear this big old 42 double D and... Ugh, just brings back memories like back then like my back was always hurting my you know I couldn't it just, it just felt like it was just really heavy and something was always just hanging and you know just I never even this bra never supported my breast so I always felt like they were still like you know just too heavy and didn't support me so and this has been my baby daddy he's been supportive of me through my entire journey um his name is Stefante, um, he's been supportive of me, of my back, of my body. So I just put him back there like that. When I'm laying down in the bed or in a chair, just position him where he's supposed to be. And just lean back, you know, it's really, it supports my back and, you know, it has like little arm rest right here. It's just been my backbone since I got out of surgery. You see him, you see me. When you see me, you see him. And you disrespect me, you disrespect him. This is my man. Don't disrespect my man. Don't mess with my man. 
I'ma be the one to break it to you. Don't mess with my man. Who shouldn't ever call me a fat ass Kelly Price? You get mad off of that little bitty boy. But yeah, guys, I've just been home recovering recently. I have been driving. I was able to drive really a few days after surgery, which I had to go take care of some business, but I'm super comfortable with driving now. Um, they say wait a week, you know, before you drive if you're comfortable with it. And I really don't have a choice. So there's that. But yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm probably all over the place with this video and I cannot get this angle of this camera right but i'm gonna end this video right here if i'm forgetting anything if anyone has any questions please i am here for you i charge 29 i'm just playing <laughs> but yeah if you have any questions leave them below please give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and your girl will see y'all soon bye